Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover and first of all, let me wish you a happy new year. This new year should bring you all the happiness and stay fit and enjoy the life, right? So in this video, I am going to discuss about a very important topic, the benzene reaction, uh, about the benzene intermediate and all of its reaction, how it forms and what is the regioselectivity of the reaction of benzene, okay? Because many people uh, fail to understand what is the regioselectivity of benzene reaction. So that thing is very important and uh, jam and gate exam uh, are coming closer and with respect to these two exams this benzene is very important so uh, let me start from very basic so you can see if you consider a bromo benzene uh, where you don't have any substituent in the benzene ring except this one bromine and if you want to substitute this bromide with let's say OH minus then you have to apply a very drastic reaction condition very vigorous reaction condition for example here it is refluxed with sodium hydroxide at high temperature and uh, here this OH minus will attack so this is basically addition elimination type reaction or a very recent studies showed that it may be a concerted reaction that is this O minus will attack here and this Br minus will go. So that will give you this and you can see as there is no electron withdrawing group which can stabilize the transition state or intermediate the reaction needs very drastic condition. But the same reaction you can do with slightly different condition that is sodamide here NaNH2 this is basically amide NH2 minus in liquid ammonia so liquid ammonia is used with uh, the melting point or the boiling point of which is very low so from that you can uh, guess it needs low temperature so the same reaction you can do with low temperature also but here the reagent is different so the question is how the reaction occurs how this particular reaction occurs uh, whether it is same that is the NH2 minus will attack here and Br minus will go to give you this or uh, it involves some other reaction okay so this is the topic of today now if you look at the reagent used here the NH2 minus so NH2 minus is famous rather for its basicity not for not for its nucleophilicity so NH2 minus is known to be a base a very strong base so what is the role of a strong base so strong base will always try to deprotonate right so it will uh, try to abstract proton and if you look at this particular compound the most acidic proton will be these two these two ortho protons will be most acidic because they are close to this bromine and bromine has minus i effect negative inductive effect so you can understand it will induce delta plus here by its negative uh, inductive effect and that will increase the acidity of this particular ortho hydrogen atom rather than other hydrogens which are meta or para and that are uh, at a distance position or at uh, far away from this bromine so this amide can easily deprotonate not easily but they can deprotonate from this ortho position to give you this anion right it will give you this anion now why this anion is formed because it is slightly stabilized by the electron withdrawing effect of this bromide so the presence of this bromide here or bromine here is important to form this anion if you consider normal benzene where you don't have any substituents uh, this sodamide will not take proton now what will be the fit of this uh, minus charge okay and you can see this minus charge is actually at the sp2 lobe right so it doesn't have any stabilization from this aromatic ring so the aromatic pi orbitals or p orbitals they are perpendicular to this board whereas this negative charge within the sp2 orbital it is on the board right so they are orthogonal to each other and there is no uh, overlap so this negative charge uh, doesn't have any stabilization from this pi electron cloud so that means uh, it is not 
a stable case so what it can do so it can push this negative charge here and this bromide will go to give you this particular intermediate which is called benzene okay so this intermediate is called benzene or arine and you can see there is a triple bond now this external pi bond is not a usual pi bond this internal pi bond it is a part of the aromatic electron cloud but this external pi bond it is not a usual pi bond it is a unusual pi bond and why it is unusual because you can see uh, it is actually formed by the overlap of two sp2 orbitals right these two sp2 orbitals one is vacant you can consider and one is filled or you can consider uh, them half filled right so it is formed by the overlap of these two and you can see these two orbitals are actually not perfectly aligned for the overlap so this overlap if at all there it will be very weak so this this is a intermediate this is not a stable species and its reactivity is very high and if you put any nucleophile in your reaction medium that nucleophile will attack here to give you this back again okay now finally uh, it can be protonated with any proton source to give you this substituted product so in this case you can see in the medium this ammonia or another equivalent of nh2 minus they can act as nucleophile and if they attack on this benzene you will get this aniline so uh, at first sight if you don't know all of this mechanism you can think that amide will directly attack here to give you this but the reaction is not so simple it involves this prolonged procedure now how you can prove it that indeed this reaction goes via this benzene type intermediate because um, this triple bond doesn't looks very uh, comfortable it uh, and this elimination step also is very much confusing because uh, it is a kind of e1cb elimination but the the orbitals they are not anti periplanar rather they are thin periplanar but i will uh, show you some evidence uh, and uh, you will realize that indeed this reaction goes via uh, this particular benzene type intermediate okay now before that one thing i should tell, tell you that uh, instead of nh2 minus so we used nh2 minus but uh, you can use any strong base instead for example uh, tart butoxide this is a very uh, strong and uh, very useful or you can say very good base uh, to do the benzene reaction or any other strong base like any other amide nr2 minus they can do the same thing okay now uh, let us take this particular compound where you have this ome and here you have this chlorine okay and if you treat it with nh2 minus what will be the product now so uh, here is a question for you uh, if you if you can uh, tell me how you will prepare this particular compound this uh, methoxy benzyl chloride or you can say it uh, chloroanisole orthochloroanisole how you can prepare it right so here if you put this nh2 minus base so you can see this is the hydrogen which will be most acidic here because it is close to this electron withdrawing uh, chlorine atom so you can understand this nh2 minus will take proton from here and that will basically generate here a negative charge like this here you have ome here you have cl now this minus will go and the cl minus will be kicked off and you will have this intermediate okay now uh, this is not a symmetrical case in the previous case 
we had a symmetrical benzene but in this case this benzene is not symmetrical so you have to position this position and this position and your nucleophile can occur at any of these two right so if your nucleophile attacks here what you will get so you will get this nh2 minus here you have ome and here you will have the negative charge whereas if your nucleophile attack on the other possible position that is here you will get minus charge over here and nh2 group over here okay now uh, of course one of them will be major how to decide that now if you look at these two uh, intermediate or in general any intermediate after the attack of nucleophile on the benzene you can see this negative charge stays at the sp2 lobe right it stays at the sp2 lobe so one thing you should uh, stick in your mind is that this negative charge whatever is formed in the uh, in the course of the benzene reaction that has nothing to do with the aromatic electron cloud right so aromatic electron cloud doesn't have any effect on this negative charge so this ome group has a lone pair which it can push on this uh, aromatic ring and that makes this ring electron rich but that that phenomenon has nothing to do with the stability of this negative charge so never try to explain any phenomenon of benzene reaction with the help of this plus r effect or mesomeric effect so all the things are controlled by the sigma uh, electrons or the sigma bonds and through bonds effects uh, through sigma bonds effect that is the inductive effect now this OME group although it has plus I effect but it also has minus I effect that is negative I effect that can stabilize a negative charge now negative I effect is dependent on the distance right so its negative I effect of this OME group will be higher on this ortho position than this meta position that means it will uh, stabilize this negative charge more than this because this negative charge is uh, far from this ome group so this uh, particular intermediate will be more stabilized and after protonation you will get this product nh2 so this will be the major product so again why because uh, this negative i effect of this ome group can stabilize this negative charge more so whenever you have a electron withdrawing group over here that is electron withdrawing by its minus i effect you will get the meta product from this particular uh, starting material if you have uh, benzene over here if you have benzene over other position then the case will be reversed but this part if you have this substrate and you have ome or other electron withdrawing group over here you will get meta product right now so uh, and this also proves that indeed the reaction goes via this benzene intermediate because if the reaction uh, didn't go via this benzene intermediate you couldn't get this product and this reaction is actually very useful because you can see this OME group and this NH2 group both are electron donating right so both are ortho ortho para directing group but in the product you are getting them in the meta position so uh, by using electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction you cannot get this product so benzene reaction is the one and only way to get this type of product where you have uh, two groups which are ortho para directing that is electron donating but they are uh, oriented in the meta direction now let us take another case and also uh, here uh, not only the steric factor uh, is the important so one thing i forgot to mention is that so in case of the alternate attacks that is when your nh2 group uh, try to attack from this position you can see it has to face a steric hindrance with this omb group steric as well as coulombic repulsion from this oxygen lone pair uh, in case of electrophilic aromatic substitution or nucleophilic aromatic substitution this uh, steric effect is not important because at that time the nucleophile come from the 
perpendicular direction of the aromatic ring right so uh, the the groups which are present in the aromatic ring they are orthogonal to the incoming nucleophile but here as it has to attack on this sp2 lobe so it has to come uh, in a collinear or uh, coplanar way with this existing substituent so steric hindrance is an important factor here so this is uh, another reason why this is not major product right so steric hindrance is another factor because uh, uh, for this attack there is no steric hindrance okay now let us take another case so let's say you have alkyl substituents over here some r group and here you have a chloro group and you are doing benzene reaction so here you will get this benzene you will get this benzene because uh, the this proton is acidic and you will get this benzene so your nh2 minus will take proton from here and you will get this benzene now from that you can get two products one is here you can get nh2 and re here and another product is this okay so attack can take place over here or here now in this case you will get a 50 50 mixture why because you can see the steric hindrance is not an important factor here because both positions are uh, far away from this r group so steric hindrance is not a factor and if you consider electronic factor also uh, the inductive effect of this r group will be very less right and uh, it is even weaker for this meta and para position which is far away from this r group so uh, both positions are same and you will get around 50 50 mixture of these two products now the last case uh, which i will discuss in this video is when you have this so when you have which group over here and let's say you have a substituent like cl okay so if you add nh2 minus so nh2 minus will take proton from here and you will have this benzene you will have this particular benzene and uh, in the basic medium this oh will actually stay as o minus right now you have two possibility one is uh, this benzene can attack here to generate minus over here and you will have o minus here and another possibility is this o minus over here and this benzene uh, this nh2 minus will attack here to, to get, uh, put the negative charge over here right now you have to consider the stability between these two now many people do mistake uh, with the first problem that is when we had ome group so ome group and this o minus group they are totally different in case of ome group we have to look uh, at the inductive effect but in case of o minus it is not a group which has a minus i effect so due to the presence of o minus or uh, um, negative charge on oxygen so it is not a good electron withdrawing group right now what is the consequence so if you consider this particular case these two negative centers they are very close together so that means there will be some kind of coulombic repulsion so this is not a stable case whereas you can see here these two negative centers they stay apart from one another so this is a favorable case and protonation of this will give you this product okay so it needs to here and here you have hydrogen so although uh, you can think this oh and ome uh, like same but they are not same their uh, direction is not same their radioselectivity is not same and here you have to treat this o minus as a negative center and you know we have to always put two negative centers as far away as possible to stabilize our intermediate so that's why you will get this as your major product okay so these are the most important examples of uh, benzene reaction mechanism and uh, if you cover all these things uh, i think 
uh, it will be enough for you and if i get more examples i will of course discuss with you so thank you for watching if you are new in this channel subscribe my channel and again happy new year to all of you